is a, an investment game for startup companies, really. Don't fear failure. As long as it's not going to kill you, it's going to make you what? Stronger. investment gain for startup companies rig because the rules don't apply the same for everyone right the rules not the same for everyone if, you, if you're African startup the rules of, of, of engagement for, for raising capital it's not the same as for foreign you know foreign international companies one of the things that slow down African innovators a lot is a lack of access to capital. And even though we're talking about 800, uh, 600 million dollars that injected to startups and fintech, and other tech, or renewable energy, and all those different things, number one, what they don't factor in is a lot of them are actually international companies or, or, or uh, ventures that actually operating also in, in Africa. The second thing is, Access to market. When you want to do business with the government, or when you want to partner with a with a company, a lot of time the government or the company wants you to also have capital to implement whatever project or whatever you know idea you want to do. So I'll give you a perfect example. Zipline. Uh, they started in Rwanda. They were invited in Rwanda to start their pilot and test and all those things. Zipline would not get the red carpet treatment in Africa or in Rwanda if they didn't not just bring the solution, but the capital to implement the solution, right? I talk to companies, uh, how we engage governments to work, and it's always the same conversation. Okay, oh, interesting technology. We like you. We would love to scale this up, but who's going to pay for it? They're, they're going to facilitate certain things, but they don't want to pay for it. Because if you develop the solution, now you have to find money to implement your solution with the different partnership, potential partnership that you may have. And remember, all those guys, the Zipline, uh, Jumias, and all those guys, they're not profit. Yet, they, they value at a billion dollars and plus. And the game is so rigged that the valuation of your company, if you're from Africa, does not work the same way if you're outside Africa. If you want to raise money in Africa, nine out of 10 investors, VC, or even angel investors will be mostly from abroad. Second thing is they value based on revenue, strictly, number one. If you're an African entrepreneur based in Africa, they only value your revenue most of the time. If you Outside Africa, and I, I like to talk about technology. They value, the, the, the technology itself has a value. The data you collected has a value. So the formula that is used outside Africa is not the same as in Africa. The, the opportunity is there, the growth we show, but if I'm raising money here, it's revenue based. If I go outside, and I pitch Arad to outside investor, their mindset is different. Wow, interesting technology. Who's your competitor? Who does what you're doing? Oh, it's very unique. You have a patent, this and this and that. How much data? They ask you those questions. I never, ever get asked those questions with local investors. What I mean local in Africa. This, this topic of the game is rigged is going to keep coming back because that's what's happening. The rules are not the same because Africa is such an open market. You can come in, you have access to funding in your country. The local guys don't have the same access. I'm lucky. I'm one of the lucky ones. I, 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 I have no shame to admit it. You know, I spent a lot of time in the States, so I, I have a foothold there. So I'm able to travel. I'm able to go there. I'm, a, I'm able. But what about the local guy? What about the guy who's, you know, have a great idea? But he's, 
he's doomed before he even gets started. So yeah, you, you have to work ten times harder than your 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 um, your competitor that come from yeah Asia, the States, or, or, or Europe. If you have a similar business, you have to be very very creative of what kind of additional value you can bring. How can you monetize much much quicker? And it's not obvious. It's not easy. So for those who want good luck, I hope that information. Um, give you some value, some point of how the game is played. So if the game does not change, this, this ecosystem is not going to get developed properly. What's up everybody? First of all, thank you for watching all the videos. I'm working on a project right now that I'm really, really passionate about. It's called the 50K Challenge. And that's 50,000 copies we need to sell of the book. Out of every 20 sales, I'll be giving one book to a young entrepreneur or young students. And out of every 500 sales, I'll do a one week mentorship to a young entrepreneur. I truly believe with your support, I can achieve that goal, guys. So share the books. If you haven't got it, get it. If you don't like to read, buy it for somebody else. And please share it also on social media. Thank you.